This case is about whether Iowa should recognize same-sex marriage. We're asking the court to reverse the district court, which has entered a ruling changing the definition of marriage as it existed for probably 4,000 years. We are not here opposing the individual plaintiff's sincerity. We are here because, in our view, the issue is one for the legislature to decide as a matter of social policy. The trial court ruling, uh, in our opinion, violates the separation of powers because there is a rational basis for the law that we're dealing with. The recorder that we represent is one of 99 county recorders in Iowa. The plaintiffs sued because they were refused marriage licenses at the end of 2005. The Iowa marriage law reads, only a marriage between a male and a female is valid. Prior to 1998, the law read, a marriage between a male and a female each 18 years of age or older is valid. That was the law going back to 1839 when Iowa was a territory. The recorder has no discretion in this law. This is a ministerial act for the recorder. His response would have been the same in 1996 as it was in 2005 before the wording in the law was changed. He can no more give these plaintiffs a license than he could have issued a marriage license to a man and three women or a woman and three men. Marriage has always been defined as a union of a man and a woman or a male and a female or of a husband and a wife. In all the cases submitted, in all the cases found, that is the historical definition, one of those three versions of what marriage is. Iowa did not create marriage. Marriage existed long before the United States, long before the common law. The marriage that we're talking about has a definite purpose, and we've submitted that it is a procreative purpose primarily. It binds husband and wife together. It provides for a stability of their family and their children. Marriage is biological, and for over thousands of years, it has taken on a basic function of society. In 1983, this court said, in an opinion by Justice McCormick, the policy of this state is that the de jure family is the basic unit of social order. Mr. Kuhl, in your, your opening remarks, you said that there was a rational basis for this law. Now you're talking about marriage as maybe being a fundamental right. How do you make those two different uh, statements consistent with each other? Your Honor, marriage has been defined uh, by this court and the federal courts, the U.S. Supreme Court, and all the states um, that have ever addressed it, that marriage is a fundamental right. Even the court in Massachusetts, which opened up Pandora's box, said that marriage has always been between a man and a woman. That is the uniform definition of marriage, between a man and a woman. That is what's been called a fundamental right. 